Hey guys, my name's Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to talk about, let's call them forgotten it bags. So these are some bags that I wanted to just talk about. They're mostly like, actually they are like Y2K, they're from like the mid to late aughts. It's like a flash in the pan, they kind of came, they had their moment, and then they really like left. And like when I say they left, they like left left. They're definitely not cheap, but you can find them for much more affordable than the original price was. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about them and I don't know, see if they're like still worth it. You know, Y2K is back. Why not em embrace it fully? So, all right. So the first bag is the Fendi Spy. This bag came out in 2005. It's like one of those bags where it's like, if you know, you know, it was kind of like a response to like the logo mania of the time, like the Louis Vuitton Murakami, like multicolor, whatever. This one had like pretty much no logos on it. I almost was like, do I need, should I put this on this list? Because there are people who are wearing it now, like some like bigger celebrities, like Bella Hadid has been seen, I think pretty recently with it. And then Rihanna actually got a version of this bag that was like limited edition with like little like bejeweled squirrels on it. <laughs> Which I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. I love that. When I saw this bag, even like back when, and when the hype was happening, I was like, that's the ugliest freaking bag I've ever seen in my life. Sorry. If you if you love this bag and you have it, sorry. <laughs> it's this really like rounded kind of like super casual, like slouchy hobo kind of shape. I think the funny thing to me is like, I mean, I think a lot of things are funny, but like to get into the bag, there's like a little handle kind of thing that looks kind of like a riding crop. It has like leather woven around it. But then on the end of it has like a little like opening, which I think is like, okay, cool, sure. But then like that's attached to kind of this kiss lock coin purse pocket looking thing that's part of the flap. Once you get past all of that, that's where you get to like the main compartment. But you can find this bag secondhand for like between $200 and $400, which I mean, it's a Fendi bag, so you know the quality's gonna be there. But for me personally, like, did I already say this? The, the ugliest, ugliest freaking bag, bag I've, I've ever, ever seen in my seen life. life. But even back then, like, I was like, oh, this bag is hideous. It's the, the ugliest I think I did say freaking that bag, bag I've ever seen. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. I love a strangely, like, compartment slash pocket forward bag. And this is definitely that. Like, in that little riding crop tube, you can, like, open it up and you can put, like, a bunch of dairy pills in there. That's great. And then you can open up like the coin purse part and you can put like a bottle of dairy pills in there. Also great. And then you can even put more dairy pills like in the main compartment. But like, it comes down to like, yes, it's like really weird and cool and it was really popular and celebrities are even starting to wear it again. But I mean, it is a, it's quite, the, quite the look. But I think it could definitely work in some of like the Y2K girlies wardrobes because I, it just does make sense. Okay, so this next bag I want to talk about is one that is near and dear to my heart. Because I loved that brand when it was at its peak. And I loved this bag so much. It is the Marc Jacobs Stam. So this bag came out in 2005 and it was actually named after the model Jessica Stam. Other people who also carried it are like Ashley Tisdale, which is cool. Beyonce had it and Rihanna had it. Okay, so when I think of the Stam, I kind of think of like a grandma bag. This bag is very campy. So it has this like quilting and then like this exaggerated kiss lock closure. It just kind of looks like an oversized coin purse, which like I was really into back when it came out for some reason. And I was like, oh, I could never carry that because that's made for girls. <laughs> Joke's on me. But we have this like grandma kind of like bag looking thing and then it has this like heavy chain like strap and i thought that was so funny i don't know it like added a little bit of an edge but in kind of a soft way so it, to me it really made sense but like 
when the Marc Jacobs brand started closing down, before then he said he was gonna like discontinue the stamp and it was like, oh my god, what's happening? And then like all this other stuff happened. So I think like in the time that passed, I feel like a lot of these like Marc Jacobs bags from before, they kind of like got devalued somehow. So you can actually find these bags secondhand between like $150 and $300. Like that is insane. I don't know, it's just crazy because like I remember every single celebrity carrying this. I definitely think that like this kind of bag is very much a very specific kind of style nowadays. I think before like the trend kind of took over and people that I think maybe shouldn't have carried it carried it because it, it was just a popular thing. But I definitely can see like if your style is a little bit more not cottagecore but like that kind of like grandma core. Is that a thing? I don't know. But like if you if you dress kind of like that but you have like a little bit of an edge, I could totally see this bag fitting into your wardrobe. I kind of want one just for like to have that piece of like, oh yes, this is a bag that I like really was into. But other than that, it's like I wouldn't wear it because it's not really mine. Alright, so this next bag I wanted to talk about is the Chloe Paddington. And I know they made like a bunch of different styles, but I'm talking about like the original bag. So this bag also came out in Yeah, 2005. <laughs> to me, this bag really is like, it screams what I recognize as Y2K. Even the people who carried it, Michelle Trachtenberg, oh, Misha, Bar Misha Barton had this bag. And then Lilo, Lindsay Lohan. Although Lindsay Lohan is still like, always gonna be relevant icon. I'm just helping myself now. <laughs> That's what I like to do in my spare time. I just like list Ashley, women Dale, celebrities Beyonce, just like out loud Michelle to myself Trevor. in an empty room. So when I think about this bag, immediately the first thing that comes to mind is that gigantic padlock. This padlock is like attached to like a little flap that just goes over the zips. Although like the weird thing about this bag is when you like open that up, there's still like two zips with like a solid thing in between. So like, you know, whatever. B, wait, two. The second thing, it's super slouchy and it's super casual, which means like it perfectly fits like mid to late aughts fashion where it's like you wanted to have like a big slouchy bag. Like that was that was just the thing. But this is kind of what like turned me off from this bag is that there's like a lot of like bits and bobs. There's like a lot of details up at the top where it makes it seem so like top heavy in a way. Little like not grommets, but like a little punch metal stud things. The thread is done in a very thick width and like everything just has a shape. There's so much going on up there. And then the bottom of the bag is basically just like plain leather and then like little feet on the bottom. Also, apparently this bag is like incredibly heavy. I think partially due to that gigantic padlock. But now if you look for it secondhand, you can find it for like between 200 and 300. So the thing is, a few years ago, the creative director, um, Natasha Ramsey Levi, I don't know if I said that right, she came out with like an updated version of this bag. It's cute, it feels like pretty on trend, but if you're into this bag and you love Chloe and you're a fan of Phoebe Philo, she's the one who did the original one when she was the creative director for Chloe. Sorry to throw that out there. I would definitely say it's worth it. It's not my kind of thing, because like, I definitely think, I don't know. It's not my thing, because like, I'm not a huge fan of like heavy bags, because like, I like to pack my bags full of stuff. So like, already having the bag be heavy, it's not my jam. But you know, if you just want your like, razor phone and your lip smackers and you're good to go, yeah, why not carry that bag? And then it'll be extra slouchy, because it's so empty. Okay, and the last bag I want to talk about is, I think my personal favorite maybe for me personally to actually wear and use but it's the Prenza Schooler PS1. So can you guess what year this bag came out? <laughs> Wrong. 2008. Gotcha. It's like a schoolboy satchel or schoolgirl satchel I guess whatever. <laughs> Gender. I can find a picture of like a school bag and you know we can compare it and you can see it's there's heavy inspiration from there. But I mean, some pretty big names wore this, like Mary-Kate Olsen. Of course you know who that is. Kirsten Dunst and uh, Serena Vanderwoodson. Serena Vanderwoodson from 
Gossip Girl. Go piss, girl. <laughs> like, okay, so, yeah, this this is definitely, it looks like a school bag. It even has, like, little two straps, and there's a, a little bit more ornamentation. Not, like, super detailed or anything, but, like, the, the leather. And it comes in a bunch of different colors, different sizes. This is a bag that I was, like, absolutely obsessed with, and I was like, this is gonna be my first luxury bag. And then, like, it really, like, became, I wouldn't say unpopular, but it kind of, like, just became not trendy to have it anymore. So I just kind of put it on the back burner. So this is a brand that actually is, like, I think doing better than they have been in recent years. I know they actually put on their first show for New York Fashion Week, and it was an intimate one, but I think it was, like, regarded pretty well. But you can find it for, like, $200 to $500 secondhand. So I might be looking into that sometime. We'll see. This bag is, like, it's serious business. I don't know, but it kind of is. I think there's been this kind of like academic connection made, especially because like Serena Vanderwoodson carried it to school. I definitely think this would be a good bag to carry to work or to school because it has like a, that generally kind of like medium bag shape that I think the perfect work bag or school bag has. So you can fit like a laptop, whatever. I don't know if it's like gonna look great with a laptop in it, but still. All right, but then uh, that is all I have for you today. Let me know, do you guys remember any of these bags or even like any of these bags? Or do you have any of these bags and I insulted it and you hate me now? Yeah, I love to hear from you guys. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time, go piss girl.